Hello class. So on this video, we'll continue on section 1.1. Okay. So in the previous video, I showed you how given a differential equation, dy dx equals f of xy, right, without any constraints, it doesn't have to be autonomous. So just dy dx equals some expression of xy, we can come up with this plot where at each point we plot the tangent line. Right? So a line whose derivative matches the derivative we found. Right? So we did all the work in the previous video. However, as you saw, the, it's a lot of work because the more points we want, we have the more accurate our, our representation of the solutions is gonna be. So instead of doing it by hand, we can just do it using you know, some software. Uh, in this case, I'm using Mathematica. You can use MATLAB. I think you can use Maple. There's a lot of software you can use. Okay. So again, please download Mathematica. Now, I'm not going to go over all of the code right now. I'll, I'll, when I actually ask you to you know, use Mathematica, I'll, I'll go over more explanation and, and give you pre-written code that you just have to change a couple of things. But basically, see all the things I can do with Mathematica. So here, I plot in my differential equation, y prime equals two times x times y, and specify that I want the initial condition one, one, right? That means that the, the, the function or the solution goes to the point one, one, okay? Then I set to solve it and, the, and it immediately, you know, tells me what the solution is. Okay. So just one way in which you can use Mathematica to easily solve differential equations. Now, sometimes they're gonna be exact, sometimes the work they're gonna do is approximations, but in general, you're gonna get something, okay? Now, as simple as that. Um, now, there's some things here that I do just so I can actually draw the direction field and then also plot the function on top. But basically, you know, it's just a little bit of work. See that there's basically what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines of code, very short lines. This is the only kind of long line. And what do we do? Well, after doing this and then running this code, which is as easy as just clicking on one of the input lines and clicking shift enter, it's gonna run what I have. So what is this picture here? So what this is, is the direction field of this differential equation, y prime equals two times x times y. And I'm telling it to plot you know, on specific intervals of points and to do it on the xy plane going from on the intervals negative two to two for x and negative two to two for y. Okay. So as you see, you have the plots of each separate tangent line, right? just as I was drawing that in the example in class. What I also did is I asked it to plot the solution to the differential equation. Right? So a solution that goes to the point one, one, so about here. And you can see that just knowing that it goes through this point, you can kind of sketch what the graph is gonna be. All you have to do is follow the tangent lines. Right? So if you were doing this by hand, you start here, you see, oh, I have tangent lines that go up and are increasing in slope. Okay, it has to be like this. Moving towards the left, okay, follow these tangent lines here, for example. Okay, so the slope is decreasing, decreasing until it gets to zero. Still following the tangent lines, just keep following them and making sure that your graph matches the slopes that you're seeing. And it's as simple as that. Even if we didn't know what the solution is, we could easily sketch something that looks like this, easily. So this is the power of direction fields. Again, we might not know explicitly what this function is. Like we might not know that this is y equals, what was it? Um, negative one plus x squared. Y equals e to negative one plus x squared. But even if we don't know that, we could easily come up with a sketch of this solution just by following the direction field. And that's the power of this. Again, I've mentioned this a lot of times, but I wanna make it clear. Differential equations that we can solve explicitly in class are very scarce and you won't see much of it in the real world. In most cases, you're gonna either have to do approximations or do stuff like this, where you use techniques like this direction field technique to get an idea of the shape of your function. And as it happened in the face portrait case, it might be that this is all you need. Maybe that you don't actually need to know what the function is. Really, all you wanted to know was what is it going to look like? And if you have the direction field, you know what the function is going to look like. Okay. So a very powerful tool and, an, and a very powerful reason as to why we use Mathematica and other computing software. We don't do these things by hand anymore. 
In fact, I was watching a video recently where engineers were talking about the math that they use and a lot of the math they use for, so this is gonna vary engineer to engineer, but for an average, most engineers were just basically using computers, right? So they needed to know the mathematics behind it so they could actually program whatever they were doing and understand what the, what the information they were given by the computer meant. But in terms of doing calculations, you would do something like this. Just, oh, I need a solution. Okay, let's use Mathematica to find one. If that's the method you wanna use, you can also use approximation methods. We're gonna use one in class. And then, okay, I just, I'm just interested in how the solutions look like. I'm just gonna use Mathematica to give me a direction field. And then, well, I can either plot the solution or I can just, you, know, you can basically just trace this. You could print this off and then trace it with a pencil and you would get something like this. So I'm gonna show you an example of that. So it's gonna be the last video on this section. I'm gonna print out a arbitrary you know, direction field for some you know, random differential equation. And I'm gonna show you how I can plot a solution just following the, the slopes of the tangent lines without actually knowing what the solution is. But again, very powerful tool. And hopefully this is starting to show you why it's important to get used to using these softwares like Mathematica and MATLAB.